Hi, today in this video, I wanna talk about the ATM Mini and some color issues that you might have when you are working with the HDMI output and also the webcam output when you are, for example, capturing both of those into a program like OBS, then you might notice that there's a difference when you use the HDMI out captured through a device like, for example, the Camlink or any other cheap or not so cheap capture card and with the USB-C output as a webcam to your computer into OBS or in Skype or Zoom or whatever program you wanna use the ATM mini output into. Now, I'm not really sure why ATM went this route, but essentially what is happening is when you capture the HDMI out signal, you get a normal looking image, which does not have as much contrast. Now, on the other hand, if you use the USB-C cords to connect the ATM mini to a computer and then use that webcam capture as your video signal, then the image looks much more contrasty as you can see right now on the screen. The two examples that you are seeing right now are the ATM mini directly connected to the computer via USB-C and captured in OBS in all automatic mode, which would also look the same in Zoom, for example, and right next to that, we have the Camlink captured version, which is the HDMI out of the ATM mini going to your computer. Now, the issue here is that Blackmagic actually decided to go with a full spectrum on the webcam output, which is nice that you can use that. But the problem is that most applications like Skype, Zoom and the likes actually expect a partial color range instead of a full color range. Now, if we take this into OBS and actually look at the settings that we can do there, there we have much more freedom to actually make choices ourselves. Now, we have the ATM USB webcam right here as a virtual capture device. And you, of course, just add those by hitting the plus icon and then going to video capture device. And then you can select the ATM mini as one of your inputs. And here you usually have the presets. Now, the problem is that right now the image is really contrasty and it is not correct looking. However, if we go off the presets and we make all of our settings manually, so in this case, we wanna choose the 1920 by 1080, then we have the, uh, the FPS at 29.97, and then we go all the way down to the video range, and here we can actually select full. And as we do that, the contrast is lower here in this image but that is actually how the image is supposed to look. That is also how the image looks and also is recorded when, for example, I am using my Atomos Ninja V to record the image there. Now, again, I don't know why Blackmagic Design decided to go with this full range color output instead of making it a partial output. And actually, I would much prefer if the ATM setup software, for example, would give us an option to choose what the webcam output should provide, if it's a full color spectrum or a partial color spectrum. Mainly because this way it is right now, the image is of course kind of usable in Zoom, Skype, or other webcam-based applications but it does not look ideal and it is much more contrasty than for example, if you are recording it in the full color spectrum inside of OBS or you use OBS as a mediary between the other applications. However, then of course you have OBS running, you have the camera set up there and then you can start the virtual camera right there and maybe you have to enter your password and then you can use that camera. So the virtual camera inside of the other applications. Now that may be a workaround for you. As of right now, with the firmware version 8.6 on the ATM mini, the problem still exists. It has not been fixed. And I hope that Blackmagic Design will fix this in future versions to either make it compatible with most applications and by choosing the partial color range by default, or by providing the option inside of the ATM mini setup software to be able to change this. Now, I am not entirely positive whether or not this is a issue with the ATM Mini Extreme or the Extreme ISO and so on and so forth because I only have the ATM Mini right here. However, as based on the forum post that I have seen, it is probably also an issue there. So if you run into this kind of color space problem or color range problem and you would like a fix for it, the only workaround that I know of right now is go through OBS choose the full color range there, and that way you can then output it again as a virtual camera and use that signal in whatever program you choose.
Now, I hope this video was helpful for you to figure out why your colors might look different on an HDMI out as well as the webcam capture with the ATM mini. If you have any questions, you can of course leave those in the comment section down below. If they are specifically geared toward Blackmagic, maybe write a support request there, that might be helpful. Or make a request in the forum, which I will link in the description below so that this may be fixed in the future. With all that said, I hope you have a main day, enjoy your streaming, and I hope you can fix your colors, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.